high, horns, whistles, chuckles, screams, and tongues of laughter, giggle, hoot, horses, happy ever after, king, queen, prince, and prince, a bridge with a troll, kingdom, grand, or tiny, and little rabbit holes, I love puppies, fish, and kittens, shoot your trains, and fire trucks, things that move, and meow, and fucking chickens, suckle, cluck, I like kids, put the little laughs, and things that fly are fun, put them in a story, please, I'll not move until you're done. Okay, today we're going to go to the Roy Purcell paintings that are up on the rocks about a mile and a half outside of Chloride, Arizona. Just another feature and thing that you can do and place you can visit when you're up there. And our guides again today are going to be Jean and Merle Anderson. Now I just want you to buckle your seatbelts because the road is going to look a lot like this and it's going to look a lot like this. It's going to look a lot like this. But when we get there, You'll enjoy the history of the paintings. Okay, let's go. We are now following our lovely hosts and they're taking us up to the Purcell murals. And again, folks, as long as we're traveling in Arizona, it's gonna be a bumpy road. Okay, this trip is not for the faint hearted. <laughs> and not on a rainy day. <laughs> this is this a sign telling us where we're going? Maybe. You're <laughs> upset. We got down a uh, chloride down there. I was talking about the bumpy roads and this is the bumpy road where the bumpy road learned how to be a bumpy road. Okay, I see an arrow up on the rock. I don't see the Indians, but I see the arrow. Hopefully that means we're getting closer. Y'all see the arrow? <laughs> I see Tell you what, if you come to see these murals, you really got to want to see them, okay? Really got to want to see them. <laughs> oh, this is really a rough road. <laughs> Where are we headed? <laughs> well, there's too many cars here, you can't turn around. <laughs> yeah, how far do you have to go to get into a traffic jam here? Okay, so tell me a little bit about the artist. Um, his name is Roy Purcell, and he lived in Chloride. He was a miner at the Duval Mine in the 60s, and he came up here and decided to, he wanted to paint, and he knew what he was feeling in his head was bigger than a canvas, so he came up and he looked at these rocks and decided this was the perfect spot for him to put out. He said, he calls it the journey, and it's kind of what was in his head at the time. And it was about 1963 or four, I believe. And he spent the summer up here and his wife lived in town and every day she would come up and they had a little table and he had a bedroll that he kept up here and he stayed all summer. <gasps> he, he slept painted, up here? He slept up here and he painted these, the what we call the chloride murals. And he was, um, he's a pretty famous guy. His, his paintings are hanging everywhere. Um, and they're all desert scenes and lots of chloride houses and stuff like that. Um, and he was, he was big in the museum in Kingman for many, many years. And in about, um, I'm not sure exactly when they came back, but he and his son came back and did some work on the murals and, and repainted parts of them that were fading. Okay. Um, when he did the murals, he kind of did it all by himself. And um, he knew he didn't have the money. He was a college student working in a mine. What year was this? Um, I believe it was 1963 or four, but I, I'm i not sure exactly what year it was. Um, <laughs> We're not gonna hold anybody in chloride to any thank fact. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, uh, there was a gentleman in town named Pat Patterson and he brought him up here and Pat Patterson was so taken by what he was trying to do that he said, I have an account at the Ace Hardware in Kingman. Just go in and get all the paint you want and put it on my, my account. And so that's how he got the money to do this. He, he called him his benefactor <laughs> and 
because he was alone, when he did the high things, there was no way to do them. So Pat and some friends would come up, in, up and they'd build scaffolding for him, and then he could reach the higher places to paint. Wow. Yeah. That's it. It was a journey. He probably came out here. He needed to think about something. Exactly. Exactly. His head was full and he needed to put it on something and get it out. There's a um, pamphlet that you can buy on Amazon um, and it's called Chloride Mines and Murals. And it was written by Roy Purcell. And the first half of it is about the journey and when and why and how and all of that we've been talking about. Very so cool. Really well, let's go. Let's go take a look at some of these pictures. Go ahead and say it. I believe this is a picture of the Duval Mine, which is where Roy Purcell worked that summer. When he, he was a college student going to college. And during the summer, he painted these. Is this petroglyphs on the rocks? Yes, but those I do not think are original. I think those are man-made, but there are many petroglyphs off to the sides here that people climb and they are authentic Indian petroglyphs, but there's stories told of the, some of the um, people in chloride students, high school kids, yeah, like who would come up here and scratch on the rocks and make <laughs> petroglyphs. <laughs> well, in, in all honesty, aren't all petroglyphs somebody scratching on a rock? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so it's called The Journey. You can kind of see that in the background there. Mm -hmm. 